Hi, I'm Marsha, I'm the Blonde from Coding Blonde, and today I want to talk about technical interviews. It's a very important topic, and so I have a very special guest on my channel. She has done plenty of technical interviews, and in fact, she's conducting them herself now. So, welcome my fellow YouTuber, Mayuko. Hi Mayuko, how are you? I'm good, thanks, how are you? I'm really, really good, thank you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and sharing your knowledge around this really important topic. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here and talk about this. Let's just jump straight into it. I wanted to discuss technical interviews with you because a lot of people in my audience are having to do them. And so that means that they would love to hear some tips from an expert who has done them before. So what are technical interviews? Let's just start with that. Cool. So technical interviews are usually used to test your technical expertise. Um, this could mean testing your architecture skills. This could mean testing your coding skills or just kind of foundational things that you might know about the specific area that you are interviewing for. So I think that the technical interview actually has a lot to do with finding out how someone reasons and what their thought process is like. So the thing that's most important about these technical interviews is that the interviewer is trying to understand how you think through problems and how you make decisions and they want to understand how much you know. So it's not going to be like a Q&A trivia format like, hey, how many bytes are in a megabyte type of stuff. It's usually going to be a pretty interactive um, exercise basically where they're testing more about like foundational concepts and patterns. That is amazing, thank you. Like now I understand, I've never done a technical interview myself, but it's good to understand the basics. And what happens during the technical interview? What should you expect? Does the interviewer watch you code? Is it over Google Docs? Is it time? Like what should a candidate that has to do a technical interview, what should they expect? Yeah, so a technical interview can actually vary a lot based on what company you're interviewing for, a position and the person who's interviewing you. But typically it's about like an hour long, sometimes a little bit longer. So the interview will usually present a problem to you where you'll either work on that problem on a whiteboard or sometimes on a computer together and other times just online through something like CoderPad. So after they present the problem to you, you're going to start your solution and you can ask a lot of questions along the way. Like I said, it's super, super interactive. So usually when an interviewer lays out the initial problem to you, it's not going to have enough context. And so it's meant for you to ask a lot of questions and kind of figure out what are you supposed to build. And so there's going to be a lot of back and forth. And so it's kind of conversational and I think that's kind of the fun part of it. Um, so yeah. That's awesome. And what are the some of the typical questions that you can get during a technical interview? Yeah, so there's a lot of different types of technical interviews. So like in an architecture interview, you might get like, hey, here's what we want to build and design a system that does this. Everything from the top of the stack to the bottom of the stack. That's relative to which part of the stack you're working in, obviously. Also, you might get technical interviews where it's debugging and they want to test your debugging skills. And so you'll be sitting in front of a computer together and they'll either show you the bugs that need to be fixed and you'll go through and just fix those. The types of questions that you usually get during these technical interviews are things like, hey, why did you do it this way versus that way? Or what are the trade-offs between this and that? Those are more of the questions that you get. And if anything, there's more of you asking questions to them about what they're looking for, basically. I guess it varies from all the different roles you can get. And it feels almost overwhelming. How would you prepare for those kind of interviews? Are there any resources that you would recommend for people who are about to go through one. Totally, yeah. I, I totally understand that technical interviews are like pretty scary. I'm still scared of them myself because it feels like you have to perform very well in an hour and show what you've got. But I will say that there are a lot of resources online to help you with this. Two that are really good resources for kind of practicing your technical skills specifically, I would say Cracking the Coding Interview is a great resource here as well as Leet Code. Cracking the Coding Interview is a book that I used a lot and it goes through a lot of different problems and 
has refreshers on critical computer science concepts you should know. And I highly recommend it for those who are going for entry level positions or maybe even interviewing for what we call like the big five in tech. So Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Apple. And then Leak Code is an online resource where they can give you a problem and then you are going to write out the code to solve it. And then it runs your code against a series of tests so you can see whether your code did well. I think it's a great way to get to know what kinds of technical problems there are out in the world. So I think those two are really important. The other resource or thing that you can do to prepare that I think is the most helpful is to practice with a friend. I think the hardest part of technical interviews is just solving a problem in front of somebody. And so asking someone to be kind of the interviewer and role playing for these things is immensely helpful. They'll be able to give you feedback at the end for how you did on what you did well and what you didn't do well, which you can take as lessons to your actual technical interview. That's, that's actually very, very interesting and very insightful because when it comes to interviews, you never really think about the role-playing part of that and that's very very helpful when it comes to these things because essentially you just need to practice how to answer these questions to somebody else not just in your head right like letting it leave your mind and kind of voice these things over especially when it comes to code not necessarily always voicing them coding in front of somebody else just getting over that hurdle um, that's awesome. Totally. And what would you recommend? Uh, do you have any advice for someone who is going in for their first or second or even 10th technical interview, which, you know, means that they've been kind of discouraged at this point? Do you have any advice for these kind of people? Yeah, I would say that like the most important thing I think to keep in mind about doing a technical interview is to think out loud. Like I said before, like interviewers are here to test your thought process. Sometimes there isn't like a perfect answer or a best answer. And so talking through what your solution is and backing it up for why your solution is the best answer is going to be more easily conveyed if you are thinking out loud for these things. Like a very specific example where you can do this is if they're expecting you to write code, then writing pseudo code at first, you know, like comments like, here I'm going to write a for loop that iterates through this array to check whether the string is valid, for instance. Just talking through your thought process and stuff is going to help unlock yourself and communicate to the interviewer what you're thinking about. So I think that is, that's the thing that I always remind myself to do during technical interviews because oftentimes when you're in a really stressful situation and you feel like you're being tested, you kind of lock up. And so just making the conversation flow really naturally by doing that is going to help you just succeed, I think. Other than that, I think just be calm, which is a weird thing to say, but technical interviews are the easiest to do when you feel relaxed and the other person feels relaxed. And so just finding a good rapport of how to communicate with each other, which is something that's hard to prepare for, honestly, but it's something that I think comes easier after you do a couple of them. Doing that is going to also help you unblock your mind and make it easier to think through these problems. And so just take deep breaths before the interview. Just make sure you're in a good spot and you're gonna do great. That's amazing advice. Thank you so, so much. Technical interviews are daunting, but I think you just gave really, really good insights on how to be successful doing them and approaching them. And I think that being calm at the end of the day and breathing, breathing is very important when it comes to approaching any, any difficult or scary thing. And I think it's important to say that like, even if you fail a technical interview, it's not, I don't really even consider it a failure sometimes because you learn from that experience on what you could be doing better. So take it as an opportunity. At the end of the day, these technical interviews, I think are like highly intimate conversations you have with someone. Just letting someone in on your thoughts is something that is a very scary thing to do. And so I don't want to discredit that at all, but I think there are ways that you can work around that and make yourself feel more comfortable and make the other person also feel more comfortable in doing this interview together. Absolutely. Interview practice is very important. You know, whether if you, if you do get the job at the end of it, or if you don't, you've practiced your interviewing skills and that is very, very important and will really help you during life. So if, even if you guys are on your 10th technical interview, this means that every time you're just getting better and better and better and more comfortable during interviews. Totally, yeah, like after an interview, if you feel like you did well or you didn't do well, like even writing down a notebook, like here's what went well, here's what didn't go well. 
And then after you do several of these interviews, you'll be like, oh, here are the things that I like tend to do, which I should keep in mind not to do, or these are the things that I'm really good at that I wanna make sure I do in this next interview. In, in a way, you get to know yourself really well and you get to know kind of what other people are looking for really well. And so I think it's one of those things that with experience, you just get better at. So yeah, I think just staying optimistic about this is a great way to approach technical interviews. That's awesome. I wonder if you could record yourself because, you know, just no, thinking just... about giving yourself feedback on this, it would be so interesting if you could record yourself during the interview and kind of go back and see it. But I don't know if that's allowed. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually not sure. Maybe. I, so, I've, so I give interviews at my company and I've never had anyone do that, nor have I ever asked, but it might be okay. I would be okay with it probably as long as it's for just personal use. I don't know, it might be something that you can just kind of like feel the waters for. That would be cool though. It would be cool. But yeah, I can see why some companies would probably not like that because I guess some of this information could be confidential and stuff like that, so. Yeah, totally. Well, thank you so, so much, Mayuko. This was unbelievably helpful and useful. I hope that you guys have learned so much from this. This was incredible. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I think like technical interviews are one of the scariest parts almost of becoming a software engineer. And so I hope that this was useful as well. And thanks for having me on your channel. I had a lot of fun. Thank you very much for coming to my channel and finding time and sharing all of your thoughts on, on this very, very important topic. And if you guys like this video, make sure you go to Mayuko's channel uh, to check out the video we also did together, another collab about the five tips that every recent grad should kind of keep in mind when looking for a first job. Yeah, I think these videos go pretty well, pretty hand in hand together. So if you made it past a technical interview and you got your first job, check out my channel for advice and tips and stuff. <laughs> exactly. Or if you're just looking for your first job and you know that you will get a technical interview and this is why you're watching this, make sure you go there. Make sure you go there. The link will be up here in the uh, cards and in the description. So yeah, just go and find that video. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mayuko. That was super insightful and super helpful. I hope you guys have learned a lot from that. And this is not the only video that Mayuko and I have done together. As you know, we've done another collaboration. So scroll down, there will be a link in the description to another video we've done together, giving five tips for people who are looking for their first job. So yes, if you're just starting your job search, that will be very useful to you. There's some really good stuff in there. So yeah, make sure you scroll and press that link in the description and also follow Mayuko's channel and her Instagram. Woohoo! And yeah, also subscribe to mine and subscribe to my social media. You can find me as Coding Blonde everywhere. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.